Welcome back to the channel again, guys. It's Brendan. Thanks for joining me here and just playing crazy. I am down in the layer today. Let me show you exactly what we are working on. This is about as much as of a, of a kit plane or a bag plane as you are going to get. What's the story behind this? Earlier in the summer, a gentleman by the name of Skip Wilson, hi Skip, hope you're watching, came up to me at one of our flying events at our local field, and he said, hey, were you the guy flying that? It was a free wing for Motion RC A10, the dual 80 mil. And I said, yep. And he says, hey, I got something for you. I'll get back in touch with you tomorrow. Okay, so sure enough, Skip shows up at the field. He, he gets uh, back in touch with me, and he brings me this A10 in kit form. It turns out that uh, Skip owned the plane, I guess had a, a landing incident with it. It did some damage to the landing gear and retracts and stuff. And this wasn't his style. He's more into to slope gliders and high-speed gliders, uh, which were really cool to take a look at and learn a little bit about. And Skip was a super nice guy to talk to, but he said, hey, you can have this. Will you fix it up and fly it again one day? I said, sure, absolutely. So I have been debating what we are going to do with this thing since then. And uh, I think I finally have the time and I've made up my mind as far as what I want to do. But I popped the linkage off and I took off all the stickers here on uh, all the wing panels and stuff. So I really haven't done much to it. He had already started to do that. The only decal I can't get off is um, this one, and I even tried my normal trick with a hot steamer that works on everything, and that thing wouldn't come off. So if it's a water slide decal, you can paint over them. Uh, that's not a big deal. If it's a sticker, the stickers need to come off because they have raised edges, and uh, it'll show up under the paint. So what are we going to do with this A10 version 1? Um, this was a version 170, dual 70 mil, um, E-Flight A10. So, um, they're in the version two and stuff now, but I'm looking for a kit project. So why not tackle this thing? What I've decided to do, I like Arctic camo. The problem with Arctic camo is the, um, black. I don't like the black. It gators or blisters really bad in the sun, especially if you have issues. I bring a lot of planes with me to the flying field. The sun blisters a lot of them. So I am going to cover with you guys some tips and tricks and what's going to happen here. And we are going to repaint this baby in a snow camo, but it is going to be a gray, a white, and um, blue. We are going to use a baby blue to it. So the first thing I am going to do is um, sand down some of the rougher edges. There are some things that you can see right here that are going to need to be touched up we'll get those things sanded down smoothed down touched up i got all the decals removed we are going to hit this thing with the rust-oleum 2x in a white flat so i'm going to do the whole plane in a lighter color so that way it's easier for the darks to um, pop once you put them on top of it and then i'm going to show you some of the things that i did if you didn't catch out if you didn't catch any of my al37 videos or those builds or tricks link below all right, um, I am going to show you guys some of the things that I do on this one, and then we'll probably even weather this a little bit after we get all of the paint scheme on there and see how this thing turned out. So we got a project ahead of us. Uh, I'm going to tape up anything that needs to be taped up. I already pulled off all the linkages and connections, so I don't have to worry about getting those things all goobered up. And then uh, once I have some sanding done, I'm going to sand off this water slide just a little bit smoother. And uh, we'll tape off anything that needs to be taped off. And then we're going to get the painting. So let's get. So we're going to hit this stuff with a little bit of 400 grit sandpaper. Take a sheet of this stuff out. Do a little bit of light sanding. And then everything I tape off, I'm going to use. This is just uh, 3M Delicate. So um, it's a purplish kind of color, violet, if you will. All right, here we go. Time lapse. All right, guys, time to get painting. Again, we're gonna use the white as a base. It's a flat uh, Rust-Oleum 2X.
All right, guys, base coat is done with the Rust-Oleum 2X and the flat white. What we're going to do now is we're going to time lapse. We're going to remove all of the tape. We're going to do a rough fit, and then we are going to go ahead and start painting. So uh, I'm going to play around with the um, Createx, which you can shoot just as it is or thin it down a little bit. It's more of a, an airbrush direct paint. And then for the gray that I like a little bit, it's just going to be a straight acrylic that I've picked up from uh, Walmart. So kind of a little bit more difficult to find the exact colors I want, but we're going to make it work. But anyway, we have to get all these pieces dry fit together so that way we can do our uh, base paint. So that's what we're going to time lapse. Let's get uh, pieces put together. All right, first snag of the build here out of my bag of parts. Uh, I don't I don't have any carbon spars. So for now, just in order to paint and continue the build, I have just a uh, standard 3 8 dowel. And we're just going to place that stuff in there just to support the wings so we can work on painting it. Back at it. All right, guys, let's get uh, ready to talk about painting. So the first thing I'm going to use is the image on my phone which I'm not going to follow exactly I just want to kind of use it as a as a reference tool as to what I want to do I have a hard backer board here I have a uh, this is like a for uh, upholstery or fabric um, cutter and I want something uh, it's a little heavier cardboard or paper board if you will I already put my paint in here and diluted it down with a little bit of uh, acrylic thinner and i mean just a little bit i have my bowl of water and i'll show you what that's for in a minute so we get that paint set up and then i got my blue paper towels which i will take off and i am going to follow that pattern on my phone a little bit and all you simply need to do is so you have a good um, fairly solid base underneath is you're just going to take your cutter and you can just make a nice smooth pattern however you want this thing to be. Like so. You can kind of just pluck a little bit of those edges off. If you got a little hang up there, you can get that. And this works a lot better than trying to take, if you will, an X-Acto knife and try and cut this way because you see what's what's happening there. Once you have that, you can either use this side of the pattern, or if you want, you can use that side of the pattern, whatever you want to do. I already have a piece cut out that I wanted to use here. I'll get my camera set up. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that outside part of the plane um, blue. And when I do this, I use the water here in this case. So I will take this thing and you can actually make it the whole thing wet if you want to. I don't make it super wet, just enough that it carries some weight to it and actually gives you a, a nice clean edge. And... And we will do something like this. And that way, that weight of that paper towel being wet will actually give you an edge that you're, you're looking for. And I think that, I'll hold that maybe over there just a little bit. And then you can actually just tack that down. So when I actually airbrush this, I don't want to airbrush underneath or at the underside here. You don't want to spray under your paper towel. You want to spray above it. So let's go get the airbrush fired up here and we will be right back. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of, of water and we're gonna fine press that, that edge down. So I'm happy with it. 
there and then to prevent overspray I'm just going to take another rag and wet it just to get some weight on it. You can use whatever you want, blankets, shop towels, whatever. And then uh, we're going to spray here on that thing. And then we're going to start to add in our color. I think my airbrush is being finicky today. Doesn't seem like it matters what I do to it. It's just, and we're plenty thin enough on the, the paint. All right, let me clean it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, airbrush is clean and we're back. Let's see if we can get this thing sprayed. So we are just going to go ahead and repeat this um, all the way around the plane and uh, we got a quite a bit of, of painting to do so let's get to it we're going to time lapse through it. 